Hi, Leo. Um, I started having a problem with Windows updates. Uh, there was five critical updates, and I'm wondering if anybody else has had this. Uh, it'll show that they were successfully downloaded, and then I can go to the Windows update folder, and it shows zero updates have ever been installed on the laptop. And it's a Dell. Uh, which Windows, version of Windows 7? Windows, Windows 7? 7. Okay. And I've never had problems before that. Uh, I wonder if it was possible for somebody to inject malicious software. Well, 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 it's always a possibility. Um, so, uh, but I'm, but don't let's not rush to that conclusion yet. Uh, okay. You've installed updates on it before. Yes. Okay. The most important one is Service Pack One, and I say that because you can't even you can upgrade to Windows 10 on Windows 7 for free, but they won't let you do it unless you've got Service Pack One installed. As I've that said, yeah, good. As I've said many times, these updates are critical. They're vital because they fix flaws that would open up your system to attack if they weren't fixed. So you want to apply them as quickly as you can, ideally as soon as they come out on the second Tuesday of the month. Um, normally, you will see if an update is applied, you'll see a hot fix in your ad remove programs or your what programs and features menu, depending on which version you're using. You're saying you don't see those entries. None. No. When you go back to uh, apply, when you go back to updates, um, are there any critical updates to install, or does it say you're up to date? It no. It says there's five. It's the same five. Same over, five. Over so they okay. Yeah. So they didn't install. Now, unfortunately, this is so common. This is really common in Windows. So common that Microsoft actually has a page devoted to troubleshooting uninstalled updates, and this isn't really unexpected when you're uh, modifying the operating system as it's running it's a challenging thing to do and it's not completely unheard of that you have a problem the real problem is that once you get a block like that once you have a failed update you will not get any updates from now on so one of those five failed and windows won't go on it says you know i'm not going to uh, you don't have the updates and i'm not going to even apply any new updates till we get this fixed so the first thing to do is google Tr you know, Microsoft Troubleshooter Windows Update. And it has a number of fixes, including, and this is almost certainly what you'll end up doing, removing the update that you tried to apply. You might have to modify the registry as well and re-downloading and installing it. In general, the install in place, which is what you're doing, causes more problems than the download the update, then install it. And so a lot of IT guys will use that method. You can go in the Windows Update and download the what they call the network updates. And that's so that an, uh, you know, an IT guy in a, in a place where there's hundreds of Windows machines can download it once, put it on a USB key, or put it on the network, and then install it on machine after machine after machine without re-downloading it. Sometimes that helps as well. But I would start by going to that troubleshooter and working through those steps. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Thank you, Leo. All right. I thank you. Uh, that's um, that really is a common call. We get that all the time. And I want to underscore two things. First of all, not unusual. Doesn't mean it's malware, uh, but you should fix it because the second most important point is you need to keep those updates coming in. If you get a blocked update, that means you're not going to get anything more from now on. That means each and every month you're getting more and more vulnerable because Microsoft is putting out fixes, even on the brand new version of Windows. Microsoft is putting out fixes as they discover flaws. When they put that fix out, it's an announcement. It's telling the world, yeah, we have a problem. We're fixing it. And what happens is the bad guys immediately go, well, let me look at this fix. Let's see what they fix here. What could this be? Where could this problem? And then they try to reverse engineer and figure out well, where is that problem so they could take advantage of it. In general, it doesn't take very long before exploits start coming out, taking advantage of that flaw. So you have, you know, you don't have to apply them the day they come out. I wouldn't wait more than a week. You know, there, <laughs> things, things will start happening. We call those zero-day exploits, exploits that uh, take advantage of a flaw in Windows on the same day that it's discovered. And that's pretty hard to fight. That's why... An antivirus isn't going to protect you because the antivirus takes more than a week usually to figure out, you know, to be updated and let you know what's going on.